this morning all the agencies all the divisions of the ministry of works would have been out from early this morning they were out late last night um, but there's some work that you have you could only do once the flooding would have uh, subsided and we could actually see some of the work to be done so in this area this is a normal reoccurrence because this river is it is this is the Takariko river that flows here and then it flows into the Karani once you have this sort of downpour you have a lot of bamboo as you can see here coming in all the way from Kora and that comes all the way down the Takariko river blocks the, the the bridges here because these are lower bridges than normal and this traps the water last year if you could remember when we came here after the flood and it took about two to three weeks for the water in this area to recede and the reason for that there were no berms on either side of the river this year the water did not even reach the roadway the same amount of rain same amount of uh, same level of, of water same channels but no flooding in this area that was as a result of the desilting of the river and the rebuilding of the berms at the side of the river last year we had to take trucks to come in here to actually to look and see what's happening and to bring in equipment this year we could have driven with, with with normal cars so again i want to compliment the, the drainage division for the work that they would have done they would have embarked on about 400 projects and although we had flooding this year it was significantly less than what we experienced a year ago um, most of the, the water courses would have been desilted and that is why we had just about four rivers that would have toppled at the lowest point all the rivers would have been filled to capacity yesterday all um, but they were able to, to move the water and once it tied we got a low tide we had a fast runoff and even in those areas like the St. Joseph area where the water would have breached within an hour the low tide the water went back into the river and the St. Joseph area was spared we do have a challenge in the bamboo area and the reason for that is the, the Samwa river um, toppled its back again because of the volume and it toppled at the lowest point which was at the Artalog Jack Center around there because the Karani was filled the Samwa river was filled obviously the capacity there posed a little challenge that water went down into bamboo number three and that is why this morning bamboo is still under some water because if you know the terrain of the bamboo area it is a it's like a bowl shape it's the lowest point to enter the Karani that water just can't run into the Karani we have to pump the water so what we're doing today is we put in additional pumps we have the existing pumps there working we put in some additional pump to get the water out I would say last year we had about 250,000 people affected with the same level of rainfall this year it was significantly less and today, one day after that downpour, the majority of Trinidadians life would have gone back to normal. Last year it took almost a month for us to get back to some level of normalcy. So we do have a lot of work this morning. All the teams are out there. We are looking at the, the, the bridges that would be blocked, some of the water courses that debris would have come, come into. And what we're doing is that we're clearing all these areas because we do expect some showers after lunch. We, we expect the high tide. Um, to step in right now we, we do have a, a high tide and, and some of the rivers would have would be stagnant but what we're trying to do is to use all the time available to us to clear the water courses that would have been blocked so that once the tide uh, drop we can actually have the rivers pull in the water again and a lot of parts of Trinidad was spared again because of the amount of work that went in the booms that were built here for the first time in I can't tell you how long the Karini River did not burst the back and, and to me that is a significant improvement because of the amount of work that went into the Karani River from January to now. The Karani River was able to, to contain the water and that is why you have places like Greenville where we actually expanded the, the capacity of the Karani by about three times in that area and wherever we found space we started to open the, the channels in the Karani. It's a program that will go on for the next couple of years so that we could get back this sort of capacity in the Karani River which is the main river that takes all the water on the east-west corridor and some of the central water out to the ocean. What we're trying to do is to concentrate on these main rivers, build back the capacity so that we can we can handle to the best of our ability this level of rainfall. I think we did a good job as a country to hold together and what we saw is a mass improvement in the way we handled the situation compared to say a year ago because we did have ample warning this time. All the agencies were on alert, everybody came out and I mean, by, by this evening, a lot of the, the, the country will back to a normal life, considering what we went through in the last two days. We got 
one month rain in one day. That is significant. Because last year, all we had all the flood and it took about three days for that downpour. We got all in one day this year and we were able to survive that because of a lot of work and preparation that would have gone in since then. And so if you look at the rivers that would have toppled, uh, the, the San Juan River would have, I think, done the most damage. That river actually, that water actually came in the Grand Bazaar area. And if you look at the aerial shots, for the first time you saw that area there, um, you know, you saw most of the water in that area. But if you drill down into it, you'd recognize that it's the bamboo area that the water settled in. And the history of bamboo is clear. Bamboo was an agricultural area noted for the ponding of water. That have changed into a commercial area now. But a lot of the residents selling out their agricultural land and people backfilling the land and operating commercial businesses. The water will still find its way down there and it will be a lot more difficult and the, the level of water will be higher because if you fill up one third of the land, the two thirds that remain still has to take that same amount of water so the levels will be higher. So, you know, if you, if you consider what we would have gone through, I think the, the, the different agencies did a fantastic job in containing the water in specifically just the low-lying areas. We do have a plan for the short term, the medium term and the long term. The short term was exactly what we were doing in the Carony River. For the first time, I don't know if you all realize, so he didn't flood yesterday, Port of Spain didn't flood. And we got the, the showers throughout Trinidad. Some areas were a little more than some, but clearly where we put in a lot of work, we saw results and that is encouraging going forward that we continue the short term plan. The medium term is to look at more channels and widening the channels. And the long term plan is how we can uh, do some retention of the water in certain areas and then release it into the channel. We're working on that plan to take the cabinet shortly for the approval and hopefully that will be the, the, the policy of the, of, of the government going forward where we could implement all these plans and all these studies that we did for the last couple of years. But clearly I think we are in the right direction. We were able as a country to unite and to put the resources to work and in the shortest possible time, most of the country is back to some level of normalcy. We sympathize with the ones who are still underwater and I give you the assurance that the government will be there to give all the assistance that is required. Um, has the government decided to give compensation to those who may um, be affected? Or Ministry of Works affected? don't deal with compensation, okay. um, so I wouldn't comment on that. My job is to make sure that the infrastructure stands up and that in the shortest possible time we get the infrastructure working. That decision is a cabinet decision and that is to be made by um, the, the cabinet headed by the Prime Minister. And how many pumps were installed in Bamboo or you will plan to install? Well, we do have several pump stations in Bamboo. We do have pumps working in all the stations, um, but we must recognize something. The pumps that we have in these stations are some 30, 40 years old. The capacity of water now would have changed. What we had in those areas, you have sometimes three pumps and people may see one or two working because they just keep adding pumps as one breakdown. They don't move the old one. It is not that you have three or four pumps working at the same time. These are old pumps. The government, the cabinet did approve a program where we have an upgrade program to all the pumps and gates in the country throughout Trinidad. That program is ongoing. This year we have some new pumps coming in on the Karani, um, that contract on the Karani River. That phase does have pumps and gates um, and the, the pump and gate program is an ongoing program but it's a program that will be stretched over a three year period where we intend to replace all the old pumps with larger pumps and, and, and you know, put in the infrastructure that could cater for this new era of um, global warming and the new trend to what is the new norm with rainfall. Because it is not like uh, what we were accustomed to in the past. What you find now, you have some downpours concentrated in certain areas. And if the infrastructure cannot handle that, obviously it will get flooding. What we have been getting with all the rain is a lot of flash flooding. Once the rain stops, the water runs off very fast. And that is as a result of the cleaning of the water causes. It's unfortunate that I saw the leader of the opposition making a statement that the government didn't clean um, water courses and didn't do this. That is so untrue. We have been, we have actually put the program out to the population. I have answered questions in the parliament on several occasions about the amount of work that we did in, and where we did the work. And it's the first time I think as a ministry, the information that is coming to me, that the ministry ever took such an ambitious program and was able to complete it in one financial year.
Okay.